Welcome back, folks, and for the Fishing Planet Halloween Challenge video. Quick reminder, Season 10 of League starts today. It's under the Custom Comps. Uh, if you have not signed up for it, go ahead and sign up for it. Uh, but to make this video short, let's get going with these challenges. I am actually going to try to save you guys some time here and just discuss them really quick. I know we talked about them in another video, but I figured they deserve their own video really quick. So the challenges, if you don't know where they are, they are in your profile. They'll be on the right-hand side over here. And there is a few we need to talk about. So uh, Ghostbuster is for the certain amount of ghost, ghost fish. Now, you can catch any of the ghost fish, and this will count. This changed from last year. Last year was only ghost pike you could catch for this. Um, and a lot of these challenges give good stuff. That's why I want to talk about them. Uh, for, for example, like this one gave uh, the Fire Phoenix Rod. And all of these uh, do give you uh, decent gear or gear you can sell for bait coins if you do want. Uh, for example, this Ghostbuster, if you uh, go to Lesney Villa, it's super easy and you get a good rod. So even if you are super low level, this one is really helpful. And a lot of them you can overlap. So with the Ghostbuster here, guys, we, uh, if you can see in my backpack, let's go down to the Ghostbuster. Um our, go down to our ghost worms and you can see just from going to pumpkins and uh, pumpkins in, in the tombstones I've gotten quite a bit of these guys uh, I have not bought any of these these are all in fact I've done the you know the uh, ghost crush and cart missions but if you go up to Lesney Villa you can ca still catch them whereas you don't have to worry about for example, the ghost carp, when you finish the mission, they're done. But yeah, if you go up here to Lesney Villa, they're there. And another reason I recommend going for the Prussian carp on the ghost fish, on that ghost challenge, is also, if for some reason you haven't been going for, uh, if you haven't been going for the uh, pumpkins and all that, if you're going to buy them from the shop, uh, these ghost worms are super cheap compared to like if you're gonna go for carp You can see how expensive these are so I if it was me I would not waste my money going for ghost carp or The ghost pike are really slow to bite so I wouldn't do it on them so but otherwise you could get these ghost worms super cheap and They wouldn't be worth buying the pack for these um, not when you could just you know, spend, but you know, 20 or 30 bait coins and catch them all because these catch, for the most part, they're pretty good catch rate on them things. It's not like you're going to catch 500 other different fish trying to get to them. Uh, I know some people had a problem with the tarpon with that. And, uh, and the same thing with the ghost moth. You could do these with the trout ghost, but again, you catch all them other different trouts while you're there with them. And, just not worth it so that's one there and when you're up at lesney villa any pole any bottom or feeder rod will work you don't have to use a big pole i just have this set up for you guys so you guys can see it a number six and we already did that video and i will leave uh the playlist down in the pinned comment for you guys because a lot of these we've talked about too so if you want to go back and catch them and see them being caught you can and these ones are pretty straightforward right here. The green ogre gars and the albino yeti gars and the black vampire gars. We did the videos on that. In fact, the stream we did yesterday, if you guys want, we went and got caught a bunch of these just for fun. I've had these challenges done for over a year now, so I just did it for fun. The three cats, guys, that is when you go to Lone Star. And we'll actually load into Lone Star here really quick. Um, now, I don't know if they'll still there, be there for me because the missions, my missions are done. Um, but I do believe uh, they will still be there. And when you go here for that, if you, if you don't have that challenge, that is to get all three of the ground baits. Now for me, when that mission became, when that challenge became active, it just instantly gave it to me 
because I already had the ground baits uh, from the video that I did on these. So we'll pop in here real quick. And also while you're here, you could bring the candy that you have gotten. And we'll talk about that too here in a second. And the since we haven't really talked about the candy yet this year, um, so the cats for me look like they are gone. Uh, yeah, so I can't, there's a video with the cats. Uh, like I said, that'll be in the playlist, the ground bait video. Um, but while you are at Texas, if you are doing that one, uh, you can actually get your other one here too. It is the, uh, where is the sweet tooth right here. Uh, this is a catching a certain amount of fish using candy is bait right there. So when you're here, uh, you can do this at pretty much any of the Halloween lakes. But if you use a candy on a, uh, let's, on a number four, on a float or a bottom rod here, you can go ahead and cast it right there. I'll show you the mark since we haven't really talked about it. But uh, right here, uh, you will catch all, all, all the fish you need. It doesn't have to be skeletal bluegills, guys. They do not... Uh, last year, it counted every fish, not just the skeletal bluegills when you're going for the sweet tooth. Also, one thing to note, too, uh, this fishy racing, believe it or not, you can actually do this in Halloween. I did finish this on last year's Halloween. It does not have to be a Christmas fish unless they fixed it. And, you know, there is a lot of these big Halloween fish that can pull you around. So keep that in mind while you're doing this challenges. You could do them in your kayak. We've kind of mentioned that a little bit. Some of these fish are just easier to catch out of the kayak anyway. Um, but anyway, hopefully this helps you out, guys. Here we talk about the little challenges a little bit. And uh, have a good one, folks. We'll see you next time.